Brenda with Bio News. Our top story today, the mumps virus. What exactly is it? The scientific name for the virus is the rubella virus, or you may be familiar with it as the mumps. A virus is a biological agent that reproduces inside the cells of living hosts. Today's subject of the story, the mumps virus. This highly virulent virus is the cause of agent behind the mumps. With us today is Dr. Dre, an expert on the complications of the mumps virus. Thank you for joining us today, Dr. Dre. Thank you, Brenda. The mumps virus is a negative single strand in RNA that replicates in the cytoplasm. Complications from the mumps are rare, but serious if left untreated. Some complications include orchitis, which is the inflammation of the testes in the ovaries. Orchitis leads to sterility. The mumps virus can also lead to meningitis, encephalitis, and pancreatitis. The mumps can cause hearing loss in 5 out of 10,000 cases. Thank you, Brenda. And for our mumps forecast, we have British reporter Alice McQuinkle Nipple. What do you have for us, Alice? Thank you, Brenda. Alice McQuinkle Nipple, coming to you live from Great Britain. Yes, we have two systems coming in to the United States. One coming from the north and the other one coming in from the south. And they are expected to collide right in the middle of the United States. Signs and symptoms of the mumps may be asymptomatic where you have no signs and symptoms. Or you may get fever, chills, body aches, sore jaw on one or both sides, and lumps growing on the sides of your necks. This is Alice McCrinkle Nipple coming to you live from Great Britain. Back to you, Brenda. And now we have field reporter Alec reporting on some of the treatments. Oh, thank you, Brenda. Alec Nizzle Dizzle here, live on the scene. While there is no cure for the mumps, there are ways to alleviate the symptoms while the virus passes. Some of the things the patients can do is drink plenty of fluids, resting, hot and cold compresses, over-the-counter medication, and avoiding acidic foods and carbonated beverages. There is a vaccine called MMR that can help prevent you from getting mumps. Remember to vaccinate. Back to you, Brenda. Cut, that's Viagra. Oh. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Alec. Now for a short commercial break. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried about the stigma of catching the mumps virus? Are you feeling irritable, tired, stressed? Or maybe your friends are staring at your swollen glands, judging you? Well, you might want to consider getting the MMR vaccine. Talk to your doctor today about getting the MMR vaccine, which is 88% effective. Some mild side effects from the shot include soreness at the site of injection, stiffness, and sore muscles. People that don't want to get the shot or should wait are anyone that has ever had a life-threatening allergic reaction to the antibiotic neomycin or any other component of the MMR vaccine. You should tell your doctor if you have any severe allergies. Anyone who has had a life-threatening allergic reaction to a previous dose of MMR vaccine should not get another. Anyone that is sick should reschedule their appointment and not get the MMR shot. Pregnant women should not get the MMR vaccine. Pregnant women who need the vaccine should wait until after giving birth. Women should avoid getting pregnant for four weeks after vaccination with the MMR vaccine. Tell your doctor if the person getting the vaccine has HIV, AIDS, or another disease that affects the immune system. Anyone that is being treated with drugs that affects the immune system such as steroids, anyone with cancer, or is being treated with radiation or drugs, has ever had a low platelet count, has gotten another vaccine within the past four weeks, has recently had a transfusion or received other blood products. These diseases are spread from person to person through the air. You can easily catch them by being around someone who is already infected. Measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine can protect children and adults from all three of these. Thanks to successful vaccination programs, these diseases are much less common in the U.S. than they used to be. But if we stopped vaccinating, they would return. So ask your doctor if the MMR vaccine is right for you and get back to healthy living. Daily Kids segment. Mason here with my crew. Haley, Allie, Bailey, and Nikki! And now we're here on our daily news segment on the Mumps Reservoir. I'm not infected with the mumps. I haven't even had the MMR vaccine yet. I'm a reservoir. I don't feel so good. I want the MMR vaccine. 
she's too young to be vaccinated. So when we're vaccinated, she's protected. She's protected by herd vaccination. So get your vaccine. Thank you for joining us today at Bio News. And remember, vaccinate.